Today, we will be showing you how to remove and replace your defrost bimetal on this Frigidaire side-by-side -side refrigerator. Be sure to visit appliancevideo.com where you will find thousands of repair videos on the latest technology. And for a limited time, you can save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all of our premium benefits. Appliancevideo.com. Do it right the first time. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. You will need the following tools to complete this repair. To begin, first, let's go ahead and open up the door. Then we're going to have to remove all your shelving here. These racks just slide right out. This one at the top here, you're going to have a little rubber stopper in the back. In order to remove it, we're going to press our fingers in the slotted area and push it off. Take it out of here and then to remove your shelf, you're going to push in on the wall. Start to lift it up. Pull it out and set it to the side. The next thing we'll want to do is remove this back evaporator cover. It is held on by four quarter inch screws. Be very careful when messing with these since you are around an evaporator. You know, it's kind of a sensitive area. one on the bottom. Next, once we take these out, gently grab it with your hand and what we'll want to do is lift it up, pull up to the top and slide it on out. Now that the back panel has been removed, we have clear access to our defrost components here as well as our evaporator system. Now, the component that we're looking at is right here, is this defrost bimetal. And normally what you will see is a defrost problem. You have a huge amount of ice built up on the evaporator here and it is restricting airflow over to your refrigerator side. Now there's a couple components that control that and tell it to go through defrost every couple hours. One of which, again, is our bimetal. Now you also have a heater here. The heater is connected to the bimetal and basically this has to tell it what temperature it's at uh, before it will shut down or start a defrost. Sometimes, like I said, you can see the top will be blown up or will have some holes in there. I've seen the back end start to fall apart. This is a clear indicator that you need a new defrost bimetal here. Another way to check it if it is not blown apart is you can undo the wiring to your heater as well as undo the wiring in the back here and check between the light blue wire here and this, and that is that should have continuity through it when it is ice cold. So if you are having a defrost problem and it is covered in ice and you do not have continuity going through it, it will need to be replaced. In order to replace it, we will have to cut this wire here. We already undid the other side. Lift up, as you can see, it slides over the evaporator here. So let's just go ahead and push it up and down, wiggle it off there, pull it out and set it to the side. When installing your new bimetal, we're gonna need a few things. Some electrical tape, a wire nut, some wire strippers, as well as your new bimetal. So the first thing we'll want to do is strip this back a little bit. Make sure you have a good
good sharp pair of strippers here. There we go, that looks pretty solid. And then you'll have the opposite stripped side, the light blue side on your bimetal. Line up the wiring, install your wire nut. Make sure you go good and tight, as this gets a lot of moisture. So another thing you'll want to use is electrical tape. Make sure you go around this very well with electrical tape. I'm even going to go on the underside here to try to prevent any moisture from getting in that connection. There we are. Let's reinstall this side, and of course, slide this back on the back side of the evaporator. Now we can reinstall the evaporator cover. When reinstalling your evaporator cover, we will bring it in through the top, and start to drop it back behind our rack glides here. Now when you get it down to the bottom, you want it to go behind the tray here so that you ensure the water goes down. Next, let's start to reinstall our screws. Now some of these may not match up. So if they do not, just try to maneuver it. Do not fight to get the bolts in. the top doesn't exactly line up, so I'm going to start it by hand. There we go. Now we can reinstall the shelving. When reinstalling your shelf, start with the top one. In order to get the top one in, it will have to be slanted up and away from the ice maker. And what you'll do is, is you'll put the two arms in the hole, drop it down, and then just slide it across enough where you can put the rubber stopper back on one end to prevent it from popping off. Reinstall your bins. Your top bin shelf. And this will complete the repair. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like and subscribe to our channel.